What's up duck hunters? It's your friend Stephen Finley here talking about silhouette decoys from dive bombs specifically. So ones we bought or ones I bought for our trip to North Dakota last October. Why I chose them, why I want to go that route. I am not a goose hunter, a honker hunter rather, and that's what these decoys are. So anyway, I tried to shoot this vlog the other day and we were in the middle of a tornado watch warning heading towards my house kind of thing. So it was really chaotic, so I was just like, you know what, that's, y'all don't, y'all don't care about all that crap. Y'all don't need to see that. Uh, anyway, so let's get going. So, dive bombs, they're cool, but why are they so cool? I don't know. Why is grass green? Why are bushes bushy? Why are shorts short? Yeah, so I originally thought that Dive Bomb created silhouettes. They did not. They've just done an incredible job marketing them. Uh, namely on Instagram, because that's kind of the platform I use most, and then I watch stuff on YouTube. Uh, anyway, look, real quick, this case is a must-have. This case was extra, did not come with them. I ordered five dozen decoys. Uh, it's got these two little clips here, and the handle top handle, these two big clips, two more side clips, and then just the back. The reason I did that is because we were hunting public land in North Dakota, primarily unless we could get access for private land, which we did on some occasions, especially the ones we use these. I thought, A, this thing fits really good in a sled, and you know, if you've got decoys like this, you, you don't want them laying down in a sled, getting the crap kicked out of them or bent or whatever. So the guy could throw this over his, you know, over his shoulder or put it in a sled with a layout, whatever. Basically, the case was going to be worth the headache. So kind of had to do it. Got a little blood on that. I'm going to try to get that out using some peroxide. We'll see how that goes. Peroxide is normally good for getting blood off stuff. Um, anyway, also this little guy. I don't know if you can see it from there. He's got. All sorts of carnage all over him. Um, I guess when we were carrying the geese by the decoys, a little bloody, so gonna have to clean that off. Again, using peroxide. Really cool thing about these is when you're looking at them like this, they kind of look kind of gray and flat. Um, not so much brown like honkers, just more like blacks, whites, and like gray in the middle, just different tones of gray. But when mixed in and when the sun hits them, um, they look very realistic, especially from, you know, from a distance. Incoming honkers would think, as you can see. Uh, anyway, this is what it looks like on the inside and how I have them organized. So this is kind of what they look like on the inside. I have them situated uh, like, so all the heads on this end, is one dozen and then the next i have them spun around so i can see that it's two dozen and like i said i have five dozen in here so it's kind of easy to keep up with when you organize them that way i i don't know if that's kind of how people do it but it seemed like the smart thing to do for me so that's the reason i did it and it was a lot easier to kind of keep up with so anyways that's how i set them up So anyway, there we go. One thing about these that I would, you know, I guess you would think is because it's just foam core with a metal stake through it, you'd think they would be pretty light. But when you get five dozen of them, they're actually kind of heavy. So that's, I mean, that's nothing against them. It's just, I mean, that's just kind of the nature of the nature of the beast, if you will. But that's another reason this case was really handy. You got this, you throw it over your shoulder, like I said before, and you're off to the races. But the other thing is, even though they're it's like plastic core board with a, looks like a printed image of the geese on top. Um, I don't know how they do it, but anyway, they were very sturdy. Um, they they looked realistic. You know, it was really windy in North Dakota, so they were they were blowing a lot. We didn't have any of them blow over. One thing I'd recommend is a mallet to take, knock them down in the dirt. We were anticipating hunting dry fields. We actually got to hunt a cow pond, you know, shoot geese over water, so that was cool. But I didn't know how cold it would be. I didn't know if the ground would be frozen, so I took a mallet just in case we had to hammer them down. It actually came in really handy. I put that in the trailer, made sure we threw it in the sled, and we were off to the races. Like I said, they are a little heavy. 
anyway, now that that's over, let's go inside and talk more about them. So instead of going inside, I decided I would just talk about this inside my decoy trailer because I need to clean it out anyway. So one of the thought processes was getting the silhouettes um, is we only had about two or three dozen full bodies. Well, I take that back. We had about two dozen full bodies and a dozen floaters. So we didn't know how big of a spread we would need. It's our first time hunting North Dakota. My friend Justin, who is a wildlife biologist, has hunted Manitoba before, done some guiding up there, but it was really uncharted territory for us, so we didn't know. I'm gonna be talking more about how we prepped and did a sort of freelance stuff for North Dakota, kind of what we learned, what we didn't, hopefully to share with you guys. And, and in turn, if you find it valuable, you can like it and all that other stuff. But more than that, if you'll comment things you've learned, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. We didn't know how many decoys we would need, so the easiest economical way we thought was we'll get some silhouette because they don't take up a lot of space. You can get bigger numbers while minimizing your space. Obviously they don't weigh near as much as full body honkers. We found some honkers using a private cattle pond. We got permission from the landowner. We set up our layouts on the edge of the cattle pond, put our floaters in the water out front, and then put some of the full bodies around us. And then we just filled in the gaps with these dive bombs, these silhouettes. Here's a photo one of my buddies took that was hunting with us that kind of shows the spread. I kind of feel like an idiot because I didn't even take into account like getting footage or photos of the spread, mostly because I was so jacked up when we were shooting geese 1,600 miles away from home. So it's like you put all this planning in, the last thing you want to do is zero out. We were going down swinging, so we didn't zero out, which was awesome. So I didn't even take any of that in consideration. I should have documented more, but I didn't. Oh well. One of the things that was great about the silhouettes is, again, like I said, you can increase your numbers. This September, I'm going to be doing some guiding in Arkansas for speckle bellies, Lord willing. And I haven't looked, but I'm sure Dive Bomb probably has speckle belly decoys that I'd love to get my hands on. For early season, as you guys probably know, specks and geese in general, when they're migrating, they're in big groups. So early season, you you want to have a big group. And I've got about six dozen full body speckle belly decoys, but I would love to increase that as needed with utilizing these silhouettes. And then the other things we used was flags. Looking back on it, like we were so well hidden, we, we, we did a great job brushing everything in. Um, everything looked really good. I, I wish I would have filmed more, but I was afraid I was, I was gonna flare the birds. But that's some of the things that we took into consideration and why I got some of these dive bombs. I thought they were great. If you're considering getting some, um, I'd highly recommend it. I paid my own money to get them. No sponsorship involved here. Uh, it'd be cool if there was. Anyway, so you can check them out. I'll put the link in the description. I don't have any affiliate link. Uh, that's just to help you guys kind of see exactly what I got, what I was talking about. So I'll put a link to Dive Bomb's website in there. But I appreciate you guys checking it out and uh, we'll talk in the next one. See ya.